Heart failure can make you feel like it's the end. It can feel like there is such a focus on failure and doesn't set you up to be positive about yourself all the way forward. It's such a misunderstood disease, heart failure, and you don't really know anything about it until you've got it. When I was diagnosed, I remember going home that day and thinking, this is it. You really do feel, actually, that this is the end. Um, and it's a scary thought. It can make you feel like you can't do anything because your heart can seem fragile. But you can also give your heart some help by actually raising your heart rate. Heart failure is really scary because if you, if you do some exercise that makes your heart go fast, you start thinking, oh no, am I going to overdo it? Is this too much for me? I think there was the more psychological element where I wasn't confident in my body, but I was confident in that I wanted to take control of the heart failure. I didn't want it to take control of me. We think that this can be the beginning of a new story, a positive story that can and has helped people get more from life. Many cardiac experts around the world agree that rehab is a brilliant way to get more from your body, more energy, and can even help you feel a fair bit better. So the rehab gym is a safe environment where you're watched by the cardiac nurses who will assess how you're going, they'll monitor you because you should exercise, you should walk. You know what you want to achieve but you don't actually know whether you're going to get there so it is really positive, it's sort of like a, a door opening really. Feeling anxious about it? That's completely understandable, but there's no need. Thankfully, it's not all shouty instructors and eye of the tiger. It's for any age, and most people with heart failure can do it. You can do it in a group, or even do it online in your own home, so it can fit into your agenda. You get given like five minutes on each set of whatever it was, so treadmill, bike. I could do all of that at the end. At the beginning, I couldn't, but at the end, I was just flying through it. Well, it's a vital tool to educate people to live more positively, really, to take responsibility for their own health, to improve their fitness. But also it's habit forming, so it's not a quick fix that won't last. It's something that you take into your own life and hopefully continue with, and it will have a dramatic impact on the future of your own health. You can do more than you think. You can really get your heart pumping, your body moving, and get healthier in a positive, safe and motivating way. You don't have to do it alone. Family, friends, doctors, nurses and cardiac experts are all there to help you on the journey to a healthier life. So it's exercising in a safe environment to enable you to go out and do all the things that you want to do when you're having the good times of heart failure, which there are, there are good times. We believe every patient living with heart failure should be given the opportunity to try cardiac rehab, whether that's in a hospital, somewhere in your community, or even at home. So ask your GP or nurse about it. You're entitled to it. It really could make a huge positive difference to you. Try it, go for it, and we'll support you every step of the way. To find out more, go to pumpingmarvelous.org.